Morgan here at winterwarfare.com where it does not matter what your rank is, the standards are the same. So at winterwarfare.com we specialize in one thing and that's having the gear you need to fight and win in the cold. Uh, so in today's video, uh, hopefully this is a quick video, I want to talk about Outdoor Research Pros, uh, just a couple of their modular glove systems and cold weather glove systems out in the field uh, here in North Idaho. Uh, so there's a couple things that I want to talk about today in the video. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of the gloves that I like, a couple of the gloves that we carry at winterwarfare.com. Uh, but I want to talk about some of the field conditions, uh, why you might need some of these gloves. Obviously, um, when it comes to cold weather, it's a no-brainer. We need the right gear to operate and complete the mission in the cold, no matter what the weather is, I guess, if that makes sense. Uh, so to start off with... Um, the first glove that I'm going to talk about is a very thin liner. So this is Outdoor Research Pros. Uh, these gloves are all Outdoor Research Pros. Uh, this is a very thin liner. This is the cold weather glove system liner. Uh, it's fire resistant. Um, so this is a very thin liner. So as I'm talking about the rest of these gloves, I want you to keep this in consideration. Um, there's a couple finger tabs on there uh, for your touch screens. Um, so this thin liner will go under all of the glove system. The cool thing about Outdoor Research Pro is they have systems. And so the one thing that we know is that when it comes to operating, at least in the extreme cold temperatures, it's going to be more than one thing that's going to do the job. So we're talking about layers, we're talking about systems, not just one glove that's going to do the job. So as we talk about the rest of the gloves, I want you to keep this liner in mind. Um, so the first glove that we're going to look at, uh, this is the Modular Glove System Soft Shell Leather. And basically, uh, this glove, the reason why it's the soft shell leather, on one side it has a leather palm. Uh, I should also mention too that all these gloves we're going to talk about today are made in the United States of America. Um, so with this Modular Glove System Soft Shell Leather, Technically what OR Pro calls this, they call it DuraStretch. Um, these, to me, in my opinion, are a very dexterous glove. Um, it's a very form-fitting glove, but the, the feel of it, the material feel, I, I'm not sure what type of analogy to use, but it's kind of got like a neoprene feel. So this glove might be something for guys operating in cold, uh, damp areas. Um, and I could tell you from firsthand experience, uh, from my time at Fort Lewis, um, actually out in the field, um, on several occasions, I took uh, dive gloves. Uh, and, and yeah, that might sound crazy, um, but in some of those wet areas, um, yeah, that's, that's just what I did. Um, so again, this is Dura Stretch. Um, it's got a nice feel. These are a very dexterous uh, feel to them. So let's look at the next glove. The next glove is the uh, Convoy Sensor Glove. So this is a insulated glove with a Gore-Tex liner. And there's a couple things that I wanna tell you about this glove. Um, it's got a nice strap on there to uh, help pull them on, which I know might sound kind of silly, but it's extremely useful. I use it every time I put these on. Uh, or you could use that strap to attach your equipment when you're not in use. So this insulated Gore-Tex liner, um, yeah, these are a smaller glove, um, but uh, I had these on the other day and that's one of the things I wanted to talk about in this video. So right here now in North Idaho, we're getting to the very end of November and we're at the time of the year where the weather's starting. It's, it's a roller coaster of weather, weather pattern right now. As you can see, there's snow on the ground. Yeah, a couple days ago it snowed several inches or, or whatever. But uh, right now it's actually 28 degrees, not that cold, uh, but in a couple hours it's gonna be 44 degrees, just like yesterday. So in a little bit, although there's all this snow on the ground, that sun is gonna hit it and it's gonna be uh, very wet. And with all the trees uh, behind me, what, what's happening at night is at night, the temperature is dropping down to 19 degrees at this time of the year. And then in the daytime, it's warming up. 
So on all these trees right behind me, if I'm out in the woods um, taking care of business or whatever I got to do at night, uh, the trees are getting frost on them. And then as the sun hits them in the daytime here, so just in a little bit, it's almost like a rain coming down where that frost on the trees is melting and all day long, it's just dripping wet. Uh, this snow will be uh, very wet here in a little bit as soon as it warms up. As I mentioned, it'll be uh, 44 here, at least according to the weather pretty soon. So my point is, is that these Gore-Tex liner in these come in extremely handy. Um, these are also a light duty, um, I, I guess you could say like a light duty glove. Like, yeah, I'm gonna wear these to shoot, uh, but I'm also gonna wear these just for some light duty tasks. So for example, the other day, hey, I'm sorry, a, a common soldiering task is, uh, you know, it's not always the cool, uh, you know, CQB room clearing stuff. Yeah, there's other soldiering tasks to do. Uh, so I was cutting wood the other day and guess what I had on? I had these convoy sensors on and uh, again, it was over 32 degrees. So in that particular day, now this, this is only a couple days ago, the snow was kind of wet, just kind of dripping down all day. These gloves were actually pretty sopping wet, but my hands on the inside stayed dry. So I firsthand tested these out and I really have already appreciated these gloves. Um, so that's a couple things that I could tell you about that. So the last pair of gloves that I wanna look at, um, there's actually two gloves in here. So this is the uh, modular glove system. Inside here is the insulated liner and on the outside is the modular glove system shell. So let's talk about that for one second. Um, so again, these are, once you start talking about getting into your extreme cold on a day like today, I don't really need these. Uh, but yeah, here, um, you know, it can be minus five, minus, minus 10, right where I'm standing in, in uh, 30 days from now. And these might come in very handy. So I'm gonna take out uh, the liner. So let's just talk about the liner first. Um, I'm gonna use this analogy, but don't, uh, don't, don't mistake in what I'm saying. Um, you, could, you could call this liner, um, you know, maybe kind of what you would refer to as just a common ski glove, but it's much more than that. Um, these are very durable. It's, it's a nylon shell ripstop material. Um, so these aren't your, uh, you know, $20 ski gloves. Um, on the fingers, um, I have finger tabs for touch screens. So this is the, the warm part of the modular glove system or the warmest part of Outdoor Research Pro's modular glove system is this insulated liner. And then for the outer part of that is this, this is the modular glove system shell. This is Gore-Tex, heavy duty material. I have a cinch strap right here to cinch these down. On the palm of these, uh, this material here is, um, I, this is just an analogy that I'm gonna make, but I would refer to this as like gecko skin. It's, it's very sticky and grippy. Um, it's, it's just like just a, a tough feeling material. And with that, I complete, I complete the system, if you will. And now on the outside, I have a Gore-Tex shell. And as I mentioned here, just in a, a little bit, as soon as that sun hits, there's gonna be water dripping off of all these trees. Even though it's not snowing today, that entire uh, woods, if I'm back in there, uh, is gonna be sopping wet. Uh, so you never know with the changing conditions of, of how uh, you, know, you can kind of have those seasonal patterns uh, where it's, it's a kind of the roller coaster of things trying to, trying to get colder, but you have those tells if you looked at it like a, a bell curve of weather. Uh, the early part of winter is kind of like a bell curve and the last part of winter, you're at another tell of the bell curve and that's right where we are right now. Um, so with that, again, this is Morgan with winterwarfare.com. Uh, if you're interested in uh, gloves like this or any more cold weather gear, check out our website at winterwarfare.com and Morgan out. Mm -hmm.